Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen, 2023 World Drone Racing Championships in the books, FAA allegedly failing to keep up with space launch industry, and Bombardier ramps up EcoJet initiative. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen Program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. 2023 World Drone Racing Championships in the books. Korean pilot Min Chan Kim, age 19, emerged as the overall winner of the 2023 FAI World Drone Racing Championship. Coming in a close second was Japanese pilot Yuki Hashimoto, age 16, who displayed remarkable speed and agility throughout the championship. Completing the top three was Victor Johnson, age 31, from Denmark, whose consistent and calculated flying secured him a spot on the podium. Wanrea Wanapong, age 16, from Thailand, emerged as the champion in the female category. With her exceptional skills, unwavering determination, and remarkable consistency, she has once again proven herself as the reigning female world champion. This marks her third consecutive title win after triumphing in both 2018 and 2019. Joining Wanapong on the podium were Chao Ting Yu from Chinese Taipei, age 31, and Luisa Rizzo from Italy, age 21, who demonstrated their expertise and tenacity throughout the competition. The 2023 FAI World Drone Racing Championship also provided a platform for young pilots to showcase their talent and potential. In the junior category, Min Jae Kim from Korea, age 15, soared to victory with his exceptional flying skills and impressive agility. The championship was the main attraction of the World Drone Festa. Two additional events were organized alongside this thrilling competition, the inaugural 2023 FAI E-Drone Racing Cup and the 2023 FAI Korea Drone Soccer Open International Cup. Coming up after the break, Archer to launch international operations across UAE. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our Next Gen Minute. Archer to launch international operations across UAE. Archer Aviation has entered into an agreement with the Abu Dhabi Investment Office by which the United Arab Emirates, the Middle Eastern nation of which Abu Dhabi is the capital city, will have the distinction of being the eVTOL Maker's inaugural international launch partner. The newly penned agreement calls for Archer to commence air taxi operations in Abu Dhabi in 2026. EPA endangerment finding on leaded avgas elicits stakeholder response. A coalition of aviation stakeholder organizations issued a joint statement pertaining to the EPA endangerment finding on lead in aviation gasoline, stating in part, quote, we are working with the administration toward the ultimate elimination of lead from avgas, and this finding mirrors and reinforces our shared goal of and plan for an unleaded fuel future. This finding is another step in the process, with rulemaking and other regulatory steps still to come for developing and deploying viable unleaded avgas alternatives." End quote. Honeywell to develop ground control station for Supernal Honeywell Aerospace has collaborated with Hyundai Motor Group subsidiary Supernal for purpose of developing a ground control station supportive of pilotless advanced air mobility operations. Supernal intends to apply Hyundai's automotive manufacturing heritage and know-how to the development and production of advanced air mobility vehicles. The Inquit ground control station will facilitate Supernal's flight test program by allowing remote pilots to safely operate evolving AAM platforms while garnering real-time, real-world aircraft and flight environment data. Cranfield University joins European Alliance for Zero Emission Aviation. 
Cranfield University has joined the European Alliance for Zero Emission Aviation, a voluntary initiative comprising public and private partners endeavoring to prepare the aerospace market for the emergence of zero emission hydrogen powered and electric aircraft. Cranfield is the Alliance's only UK university. Launched in 2022 by the European Commission, the European Alliance for Zero Emission Aviation seeks to bring together key aviation stakeholders to include aircraft manufacturers, airlines, airports, energy companies, fuel providers, certification agencies, passenger groups, and regulators. Well, that was our Next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. FAA allegedly failing to keep up with space launch industry. SpaceX Vice President for Build and Reliability William Gerstmeyer has urged lawmakers to streamline extant regulations for purpose of increasing the number of FAA personnel tasked with issuing space launch licenses. The April 2023 inaugural orbital test flight of SpaceX's Starship platform, the largest, most powerful rocket yet conceived of by humankind, proved something less than a resounding success. Notwithstanding the mishap having claimed no lives and damaged only property belonging to SpaceX, the FAA, characteristically reactionary, summarily grounded Starship before stipulating the implementation of 63 corrective actions, a bold gambit for an agency only semi-competent in the certification and oversight of conventional atmospheric aircraft. Shortly thereafter, a gaggle of reflexively outraged environmental nonprofits sued the FAA, alleging the agency violated the National Environmental Policy Act by allowing SpaceX to launch Starship. Prior to a second Starship orbital launch attempt, SpaceX must obtain authorizations from the FAA as well as environmental approval. That subject authorizations may prove decidedly and unjustly more difficult to secure is a concern by which SpaceX's upper management is collectively plagued. Kelvin Coleman, head of the FAA's Office of Commercial Space Transportation, conceded the agency has been, quote, challenged to keep pace with the industry, keeping pace intellectually, not just in licensing. That's what makes it fun. We like rising to the challenge, end quote. And after these messages, Bombardier ramps up EcoJet Initiative. There's a lot of places I get to at the end of the runway or in turnarounds that I need an engine running. So for me, it's very important to have a product that I'm absolutely confident with. I am very confident with the Trailblazer propeller. And when I'm flying air shows, I know that propeller is going to be right for me. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. Bombardier ramps up EcoJet initiative. Bombardier unveiled exclusive images of its EcoJet research project's second test phase last week. The promising flight tests were conducted with an 18-foot wide demonstrator and have generated important results, contributing to the advancement of this pivotal project. Bombardier's EcoJet research project aims to reduce aircraft emissions by up to 50% through a combination of aerodynamic, propulsion, and other enhancements. EcoJet is a sustainability-focused research and technology initiative which started 15 years ago. This project has successfully materialized into a family of blended wing body test vehicles, with flight tests being conducted to develop and mature relevant technologies. The analysis of the data gathered from the 18-foot-wide prototype will allow Bombardier's engineering team to perfect its knowledge of new aviation control laws that are adapted to the radically different BWB geometry, bound to be applied to more sustainable future business aircraft. Flight campaigns on scaled test vehicles allow the organization and its academic partners to explore the behavior of BWB-designed vehicles in free flight. Consisting of several free flight campaigns, the flight testing program will be held over multiple years to generate increasingly precise data in real-world representative environments. The 18-foot-wide prototype of Bombardier's EcoJet research project has flown for the first time in 2022 and can fly autonomously. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.